Welcome back guys. Today we'll be installing Kitchen Salt. The purpose of Kitchen Salt is to test out individual salt states rather than uh, running salt high state on a whole VM. So basically you run Kitchen Salt to test out your state and then you destroy the Kitchen VM uh, once your tests pass and then you go and do a vagrant uh, provision to test out all the states together to see, make sure they work properly. And then if they do, then after that, so you've got two tests completed, then you can go ahead and and running any sort of uh, linting tests or so on and deploy to the to the environment that you're trying to deploy to, which in my case is my are my EC2 instances. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and follow the basic instructions from this page that you see in the screen right now. In my screen right now, I'm sorry. Um, there are some prerequisites to this. First, you have to have RBM installed. Uh, I will, for Mac, I will put a link for the, uh, to install RBM. I've got a good, uh, pretty good doc up there as well. Uh, for Linux, it's very similar to the Mac. Uh, however, you don't need anything like Xcode or so. And for Windows, I'll, I'll search for a document and put that in the description as well. Okay. Um, so I'm going to be going and following the, uh, the instructions here, and then we'll create our We'll create our .kitchen YAML file to specify the kitchen environment on, and then we'll go ahead and test out the one of our individual, like the user's disk, for example, on that kitchen VM. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first, it says make directory kitchen salt tutorial. That's fine. We'll, we'll go ahead and do that. All right, so I'll I'll be in my home directory and do this because I don't want them to. I don't want this directory in my salt state. So there's no point in that. And it says we need RVM. Now, I don't have RVM installed. However, I can install it. I've got this document pulled up. So it says RVM with latest Ruby. Uh, the first thing we do is uh, echo gem document. Yeah. Sorry, that was my uh, Amazon echo. And then this will install the latest stable version of Ruby. This is a one curl string. Uh, I will go ahead and put this link on the on the description below. This may take a bit, so I'm going to go ahead and pause here um, and get back to you when it's finished. Okay, so it looks like my installation went successfully. There wasn't any single issue. Uh, I know off the top of my head, I, I've installed RVM before, so I know for a fact that we have to source the uh, your source your shell file. So if you're running, I'm running fish shell. So mine is the uh, fish config. Um, if you're running zsh, it's zsrc. And if you're running uh, bash, is dot bash uh, rc or dot bash profile. Now I just went ahead and opened up another uh, terminal, and you can just do which rvm, and that will go ahead, and, and you should be able to get a response. So if you do rvm hyphen v. Uh, you should get a 1.29 or some other version, whichever may be later than this particular date. Now, I also did a, uh, a brew update, a brew doctor, and a brew upgrade, which doesn't have anything to do with RVM, so you don't have to do it. Uh, but it did update a bunch of whole, my other pa uh, packages that didn't need to, yeah, uh, that didn't need to be uh, updated at all. So. What I'm going to do now is, now that we've got this RVM uh, installed, I'm going to go ahead and uh, let me go back to my uh, steps real quick. This guy here. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to this directory and I'll do a, uh, I'll, I'll follow the continued steps here. So let's go to kitchen tutorial. And then we will do a RVM create. Tutorial. Sorry, RVM create Ruby version use 1.9.3. It says RVM is you is not a function. Selecting RVM with uh, use will not work. You need to change your terminal preferences to do that. Okay, so I'm running a uh, special fish shell because I like to have auto complete and so on, but it may actually made things difficult for my RVM. Um, there's a uh, fish shell configuration, so it automatically starts in your path variable from uh, RVM docs. Uh, if you are running uh, bash or ZSH, uh, you can go ahead and follow the regular instructions from RVM. And again, I'll post those in the, in the description. 
as well as this, uh, just in case you're running a uh, fish shell. So now let's go ahead and go back to that um, step. So it says RVM create Ruby version use 1.9.3. Oops, I need to be in that kitchen salt directory. And we should be good to go. It says Ruby 1.9.3 is not installed to install. Go ahead and install it. So let's do that. Now this may take, oops, sorry, I hit my mic for a second there. This may take a little bit, so I might, I may need to pause, uh, depending on how quick this goes. I may need to pause and then uh, start back up again. And in the meantime, I'll go ahead and get all those links together and put them in the description. Okay, so it looks like that went, uh, that went well. Uh, this red message here is actually a warning saying that the version of Ruby that was used for this I'm sorry, the version of Ruby that was installed is really old and you should really consider installing the latest one. Um, however, we're going to stick to the instructions and use the one the instructions provide. So going back to the instructions, it says curl uh, this entire link and paste it on the gem file. Now the gem file is likely going to be used what bundle is going to install is going to be a list of gems, uh, just like bundle errors. And then we'll install a bunch of dependencies. So if you cat gem file, we should have a whole bunch of gems listed here, actually just four, not even. Um, so what we're going to do is just do bundle install and then that will install from the, that will install gems from the gem file. Oh, it looks like I could not find bundler. Let's see. Could have sworn I have actually installed Bundler. Yep, all right, now it's installed. So now let's try Bundle. Okay, so if you if you run into the issue, you could not find Bundler, just do gem install Bundler and then do a Bundle install to for Bundle to go ahead and read the gem file and install the necessary gems. Um, you may see more gems being installed like I just did here. Those are dependencies of the gems listed in the gem file, so you may not see them exactly. All right, so now that we've got that done, uh, according to instructions, we can go ahead and uh, do this example. However, we're not going to do this example. We will just follow the, the .kitchen uh, YAML file, and that creates the kitchen, vag sorry, the kitchen vagrant VM environment. So. The provisioner will be salt solo, the formula is yada yada yada, and this is what we're going to do. Alright, so what we're going to do now is, now that I've got this installed, I'm going to go ahead and stop this video. And on the next video, we're going to create our uh, .kitchen YAML, and then we'll go ahead and test out the user state in the kitchen, uh, kitchen VM. Alright, so I'll see you guys then.